In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up and configure recording on your NVR using the IP cameras. So first, we're going to right-click, click the Main Menu button. It's going to take you to the Main Menu. You may have to log in using the Graphical User Password, which is a backwards C. Here you can see it takes us to the camera registration page, as always. In order to set up a recording schedule, we would need to go to the Storage tab on the left-hand side here and click Storage. Here you can see that we have a camera selected. This is the first channel on our system. We have the first four cameras occupied with cameras, but we're going to focus on this first channel for demonstration purposes. Here you can see that I can have it set to enable the recording schedule, and I want this camera to record, so I'll of course want to leave this enabled. Uh, you can turn off certain cameras if you don't want them to record. Let's say um, you're going to be home and you don't want it to record your house but then when you do want it to record your home the inside of your home after you've left you can of course enable those cameras before you go on vacation however like I mentioned for this guide we're going to leave all of our cameras enabled and focus mainly on the recording schedule and then how to set up some of these recording events so from default all of our NVRs will be set up to record 24 7 continuously for people who want to save storage, they can start to fiddle with the storage schedules here, whether or not they want continuous recording at night while they're not at their home or business, or if they just want to set it to a event-based or motion detection-based schedule. So you can see here on the right-hand side, there's a kind of key for which color each color means, and then you can select each color here if you want to go ahead and paint on this timeline here. So let's say I wanted to go ahead and set up a recording schedule through night and then have a normal schedule or continuous recording throughout the day. For my example, my business hours are between 8 a.m. and 6 o'clock p.m., which is 18 on this particular timeline. So between or before the 8 o'clock hour and after the 6 o'clock hour, I want motion detection recording. So I'm going to go ahead and, and select my motion detection on my key here on the right hand side and then start drawing my motion detection schedule. I can draw this for month, Tuesday and Wednesday and so on. Then on the weekend I'm going to want continuous recording all the time just in case anything happens to my home or business. Let's say you don't want to record a particular hour. Uh, let's say there's a lunch hour and, and um, there's a security guard who already watches the door or something like that. Then you could, of course, do no recording for that particular time. But for my particular instance, I want to leave this to a normal recording schedule. Some of the other ones here are external alarms. If you have external alarms set up with your cameras, M plus A means motion and alarm, and M or A means motion or alarm. So the M plus A is a little stricter where it needs motion and an alarm input to trigger to record, or motion or alarm only cares if a motion event or an alarm event goes off and starts recording at that time. You could also click the edit button here. It's going to bring it into more of a tabular or text-based schedule that you can set. Here you can see we have motion between... 0 and 8 o'clock, between 0, 8 and 18, which is 6 p.m., we have normal recording, and then again, at nighttime, between 6 and midnight, we have motion detection recording. Now, if I wanted to copy this to all of the days, I would probably just do it on Monday and then come in here to the Edit button and click OK, and then it would go ahead and do this for all of them. As you can see, it, I went ahead and actually put them on Saturday, Sunday, in the holiday schedule. Up here at the top, we have pre-record and post-record. So pre-record is uh, it will take some video before an event happens or before your trigger here. Uh, for continuous recording, you usually don't have to worry about this setting. And then post-record is how much it will record during these segments for this particular event. So if a motion detection event off went off during the nighttime, I would want it to record a full minute. Obviously, if motion is still happening after that minute's passed, a new event will be created and it will still continue to capture that video while that motion event is going on. Hopefully, this gives you at least some insight on how to set up a recording schedule. 
Now the next part of this video is actually enabling motion detection on this particular camera. So we will go here down to the alarm tab. In here the first section is called motion. There are some other kind of alerts and setups that you can set up. However, for this particular video we are going to focus on motion detection because it's included in all of our NVRs and IP cameras. Therefore, there's no extra additional steps. You just need to go to the alarm tab here, select the motion tab here, make sure you're on that particular camera that you want to set motion on up on, and usually it is enabled by default so far. Um, so it will be enabled by default and you can of course if it's not come in here and you want to check this make sure it's checked that means it's enabled and then you could click the apply button. Here we can see there's trigger actions inside of here we can see what kind of triggers we want going off. This buzzer is a local buzzer to the NVR. The NVR will make a noise. You can of course set up sending email alerts for motion. You can have it pop up a window if someone's sitting here actively watching the system. Down here you can set recording, let's say you wanted another additional camera to record, if this camera's motion detection went off, you could of course set that here. You want to make sure that that camera is also set to record motion on your schedule. You could have a PTZ camera go to a particular preset, you could have the NVR go to a particular camera, you would select D1 if you wanted the D1 camera to go in full screen whenever a motion detection event happened. And last but not least, if you had alarm outputs connected to your system like a siren or other device, then you could of course enable that here. We don't have any connected so we can't enable that. I'm just going to click cancel to back out of here. You could also right click, you could also right click. Here we can see an arming schedule. You usually want to leave this to the default if you want it to be armed all the time. You really want to rely on your recording schedule rather than relying on this. Uh, for certain businesses, if you know there's a time where your employees are going to be out in the parking lot or in and out of the door, you might want to turn off the motion detection during those times. But just for the sake of simplicity, we'll say for this example, we're going to leave our arming schedule to a 24-7 schedule. If motion happens on this camera, I want it recorded. If motion happens on this camera, I want it to do any of these trigger actions. Here we can set our sensitivity. This is a very busy street, very busy road with a lot of people, pedestrians walking by and a lot of vehicles passing by. Maybe if I don't want to capture all of those vehicles I could lower my sensitivity and then of course I can make a grid screen setting here to grid whatever where I do want motion and where I don't want motion. So I could do full screen to get the full screen of motion. I could click the clear all button to clear all of that motion. Now let's say I was really only concerned with people coming here into the parking lot and coming close to the office. So then I would do something like this where I only want to capture motion at the bottom portion of this camera because I know for a fact if somebody wants to enter the office they have to come in this portion or if they're coming behind the bushes um, then they would come from that location. Since the bushes are here and they're kind of rustling in the wind I might want to lower my sensitivity so that my camera does not actually trigger on just the leaves blowing in the wind here. And Then I would come down here and click apply. It's gonna take a second to apply these motion detection settings and send them on over to my IP camera and as you can see this person walking here would not trigger my motion detection because he's outside of the boundaries. I believe right now just the uh, sensitivity is too high and it's detecting the motion here from the tree or bush but you can see this icon here actually indicates when motion is happening and this is what indicates when a camera will be recording. If you want to finely tune your sensitivity settings we recommend having somebody go outside in front of the camera, wave their arms, make you know, and then you can finely tune your grid and your sensitivity settings to really finely tune what does trigger motion and what doesn't trigger motion. So again, I came in here, I made sure that I selected the IP channel I was working with, channel 1, I made sure that it was enabled, I checked out my trigger actions here, I went back, I checked out my arming schedule, again we recommend leaving this to 24-7, and then I adjusted my sensitivity and created a grid. Then I came down here and clicked apply to save my motion detection settings. Now we can go back into the storage setting and see that I did not save my changes here so I would want to go ahead and draw this. I'm just going to demonstrate again we said between 8 a.m. and 6 p.m. we want to do motion detection recording and then I could of course come down here 
and copy this to all the days. I'll leave Saturday, Sunday, and the holiday off. It would record based on these motion detection settings between 8 a.m. and 6 p.m. And then I would click apply to save my schedule settings and I can go back into alarm. My motion is set up. Go back into storage. It saved my schedule here. And like I said, between 8 o'clock and 6 p.m., it would record based on those motion detection settings. Hopefully this video helps give you a, an insight into how to record on your NVR with IP cameras. Thank you for watching.